Welcome back to Musicians on the Record. I'm David Ward. We're at the 2018 NAMM Show, Day 4. And we are with Jessica at Godin Guitars. Hope I said that right, Jessica, so maybe not. Uh, Jessica, tell me who you are and what you do for the company, please. So I'm actually their social media marketing PR person at Godet Guitars. Um, so anything you're going to see on social media, you're going to see a bunch of YouTube videos of me. Hopefully nothing too embarrassing or cringy, um, but that's typically what I do for this company. So I'm able to give you a little rundown of what we have that's new at 2018 for new for 2018 at Godet, and uh, we're going to start the electrics right now. Yeah, they're beautiful guitars. Yes. Yeah. So one thing that's new is the Summit S G series, and what's really great about this guitar, these guitars, is the value like they're going to be an excellent price point um, and they are they just look killer so we have them in matte finishes so that's gonna be matte green matte black and we also have a p90 version in the vintage burst just over there but we also have um, just a, the normal vintage burst as well and if you come over here yes. we have the stadium 59 series uh, super tonally versatile guitar and one thing that's really different about the series is uh, We've never done a desert, like a green finish before. So this is going to be our, our new finish of 2018. It's actually inspired by a 1960 Chevy. And uh, and what's good about this car guitar also, you get like the matching like Indian fingerboard, uh, Indian rosewood fingerboard. And a single custom Cajun coil pickup, 59 humbucker, uh, Seymour Duggan 59 humbucker, and it has an HDR. And the HDR, what it does is it switches your pickups from active to passive and the five-way switch. That's fantastic. Wonderful. It's also offering different finishes as well. So we have the coral blue, which is a really popular color for us. Uh, it's my personal favorite. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Great. yeah, and uh, the vintage burst. Wonderful. And it's also offered in uh, either the rosewood or the maple neck. Okay. And now you guys are a French company. Where are you located? Montreal, Quebec. Te te technically Bay Durfe, but nobody knows. What, not even anyone in Montreal technically know where that was. I didn't know where it was until I showed up there. So, so Montreal. Yes, Montreal. Wonderful. Uh, what else is new is the Progression Plus. So the Progression is actually something that we've carried at Godin before. However, uh, we've uh, we are now offering it a cherry burst finish, super tonally versatile, versatile guitar as well. And uh, the Session is a, kind of one of our flagship electrics. It's great value. Which is our whole MO, P.S. I'm going to keep saying great value, but that's because that's what we that's what we are. And uh, yeah, session also tonally versatile, good value strat style guitar. And this is the cherry burst. It's also updated, a color we've never offered before. It's just beautiful. Tell me about that good value for someone who's looking for a good guitar like this. What would that value be? I can't quote you. I can't quote the price directly, just okay. because like I w we often encourage people to go, go seek their local dealer. Um, but you know you're going to get it under the thousand dollar price point. You know better than any competitors out there, honestly. For what you're going to get, it's going to be a handcrafted in Canada, solid build for for the price point. Like we're often getting people, they're blown away yeah. by how much it costs for us. So. And we're hearing it in the background, at least an acoustic one. It sounds gorgeous. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's one of our artists. We've been doing performance every half hour. So. Hopefully, hopefully you can hear me. But uh, we're going to go over here now to show you what else is new. At, uh... We have the acoustics as well, right? Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're not quite there yet, we're but uh, there we're, we're yes. going to go there. This looks like a Gretsch. It's, yeah, it's, it's our arch top. Um, but th this isn't new, actually. So I'm just going to show you. It's it's last year in 2017, we came out with the Fifth Avenue. Uh, it's, this is called the Fifth Avenue Uptown Limited in a Silver Jones, uh, Silver Gold TV Jones pickups. Amazing. <laughs> um, so just to get a little context, I'm going to show you what's new in comparison to that. Okay. So the silver gold one that I just showed was a really huge model for us. It's a super lightweight arch top. Um, and so this year we decided to come with a trans cream finish. It's, we call it kind of like vintage class with attitude. Um, and it has a high gloss top but a satin back and sides. And what's different is that one, the silver gold comes with TV Jones pickups. But this has Seymour Duncan on them. Beautiful. Um, what else is new is, so last year also in 2017, we came out with the Montreal Premier Limited Desert Blue. Super popular model for us. Um, it's a thin line, uh, semi-hollow arch top. And so this year we decided to come out with a desert green finish. Yeah, that's gorgeous. We, yeah. And, and a whammy. Right, yes. yeah, of course. And uh, it's also available without the Bigsby. 
okay. if somebody wanted to. It's the same with the Desert Blue. Um, what's also different is we have the HDR on this one. So again, the HDR switches your, your pickups from active to passive, and it has a Seymour Duncan pickups on it as well. Um, but it's very tonally versatile. I think you're saying something like you get 30 different tones out of it. It has like P90, single coil, and humbucker tones. So uh, that's going to be a really good model for us as well. Nobody knows who Doyle Dykes is. He's actually an amazing fingerstyle player. Just look him up on YouTube. You're gonna be blown away. Yeah, he, uh, he just came by and he demoed it for us yesterday. So if you go to our official YouTube page, you're gonna find the demo. Um, but it's built to his specifications. It has his signature white rose inlays on it, LR bags pickups, and, and yeah, so it's a steel string uh, based off of one of our most popular bills. Is the Multiac. It's great, beautiful guitar. That's all you have in electric. So uh, we're gonna move on to the acoustics now. Let's do it. And I know you have basses as well, so I'm going to yeah. get out of the way. We'll go the bases. So we'll go the bases. Okay. But, um, so Siegel is one of our sister band brands. It's actually made in Canada, same factory, and uh, it's one of our acoustic lines. What's new at Siegel is the Siegel ukulele. Um, it, we've never built a ukulele at Siegel before, so we have decided to come out with one. This is an electric instrument. Yeah. Yeah. And we have a steel string and with volume tone controls on the body. And uh, we also offered it in a, in a nylon. Fantastic. Another thing that's new at Siegel is, uh, so we have the Entourage series. And again, the Entourage series is, you're going to get incredible value. It's not that much money for an ex excellent build of a guitar. And uh, super popular. So what we've decided to do is, we're obviously keeping it, but we give it an updated look for 2018. And what's different is the autumn burst finish. So yeah, that's beautiful. That's really visually unique. And uh, we also have the parlor that we've added to the series. It's, uh, we, we call it the Grand. And uh, we call it like a little blue, like a little blues box. It's very good. It's very light. And uh, this one comes with a pickup. And we have one down here. It does not have a pickup on it though. Mm. Another model that we have is the S6 original. So it's a flagship of Siegel. It's something that we've been carrying for so long. And we've always had people tell us, like me being a social media person, I always see people commenting, like I've had mine for 25 years. And really? They've had them for so long. So it's really good. It's a really good solid build for it. And we've decided just to give it a totally new look. So the back and sides are different. And uh, yeah, it's just a really sharp looking guitar. Moving on. This is the Maritime Solid Wood series, so it has a bit of a higher price point, but that's because you're getting the solid wood experience. And uh, what else is different is we've carried the solid wood, the Maritime Solid Wood before. However, again, we've given an updated look. So what's different is you're going to see a shadow burst on the back and sides. So, again. So Art & Luthery is again one of our brands. Uh, also made in Canada, same factory. And uh, this is our new finish. We came out with this series last year, um, and it was hugely popular. So we've decided to update the categories with uh, with this one, and this is the denim blue finish. What's different also, you get the volume tone controls on the body, and it has a cute discrete preamp. And this is a concert hall. We call it the Legacy. Yeah, I love it. I love the denim finish of it. That's great. A little, a little neat fact, if you guys are into facts, is that no guitar actually looks the same just because the finish is so sheer. And, uh, and yeah, it looks cool. So. It really does. Ah, yeah. this, is, this is the Roadhouse, so again, like a parlor style guitar, um, volume tone controls on the body, and a key discrete preamp. We call it like a little blues box. It's a good like little traveler guitar, and you, you can't let the size fool you. It's actually it's actually very booming. It sounds like a dreadnought, you know. It's it's one of our standout models from last year. It, it was hugely covered. Everybody loves it. So we definitely decided to come out with a new finish on this one. So this is our new Dorchester 4 series. It's like a thumping retro throwback. It's a semi-hollow short scale bass. Um, and, and yeah, they, they just look amazing. They're actually pretty lightweight um, considering for maybe their look of them. But uh, but yeah, they, they look amazing. If you're into fun, another fun fact, I'm full of them today, but Ben Ellis of Iggy Pop, he's been rocking this on tour already and he just, he loves it, so. Fantastic. And this one too, it looks, it almost looks like a Rickenbacker here. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So we, we were trying to go for like the retro, like that kind of look. And, uh, and even a Fender look there too. Right? Yeah. And uh, I always forget the name of the pickups, but it's like Al Nico, Dog Ear, Kingpin, 
propri proprietary pickup. Okay. But yeah. anyway, you'll, you'll find our, you'll find our website. Get in contact. Yeah. Room. Where can folks go and find out more about these amazing guitars, Jessica? So you just go to your local dealer. If you want to find your local Godain dealer, you just go to our website. That's we have like a little where to buy tab, and then you can just find the near, one nearest you. And they're already available. So excellent. They're out now. Jessica, thank you so much for being on Musicians on the Record. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's Godin Guitars. Close enough? Godin Guitars from Bay Durfay. Excellent. Look it up online. I'm David Ward from Musicians on the Record. Stay tuned.